All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. We're on to part number 10. We're into the double digit parts and we are buying the Porsche 911 GT3. So I figured out how to sell cars. So I sell a number of cars to be able to afford this one before we do like the Mazda Roadster Cup because I didn't even really want to do that next. Um, this is the one that I wanted to do next for sure. Let's have a look at the purple. That could be really sick. It would help if I could see the actual color, like, you know. It's not a very good view. I think I might go with that purple though. It looks dank. 200, well, ultraviolet. I'm sorry. Yeah, that looks sick, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to go with the ultraviolet Porsche. And we're going to try and see if we can do well with this bad boy. It's a beast. It's such a sexy car. I've always been a big fan of Porsches, but a Porsche as whichever you, um, whichever you call it. I don't know. We have 25 wins in total. We have a lot of silvers as well. I think um, once we reach level 20, we'll unlock the professional league. So we're not too far off doing that. We're doing the boxer spirit here though. Uh, this is four laps, 3.37. That's four laps as well. Okay, so there's three races. They're all four laps and they're all around the same. So I think there's only like, you can pick between like four cars or so. Estimated prize money is 50,000. So if we win this and we don't get 50,000, we'll know it's because we are using the Porsche. So they're starting us in 8th again. Oh, it's this track. Okay. I like this track. It's a pretty solid one. That was not a solid first turn, though. Quite poor. This car is very loud. Ooh, nice interior. God damn it. I was busy looking at the interior. I wasn't even focusing on the guy ahead of us. Yeah, it has a really nice interior. It's fast too. It is very, very fast. Ooh, nearly spun out there. Alright. We're doing okay so far. I like the interior of this car, like it looks sick. Barely got away with that. I, I started braking before the cones as well, so we're gonna have to be careful with the Porsche because it's so fast that you have to brake way before some of these cones, as demonstrated right there. Got four laps though, so we got time. As we approach the top five. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to avoid hitting him there, but not so. That's what I was trying to do last time. Ooh, God damn, those noises. We're into the top five. Let's go to chase cam again. I race my best races in chase cam, so. God damn it, dude. Just as I say that. This car's hard to control, man, I tell you. Not easy. You gotta be a little bit more cautious in this Porsche. You can't just go guns a blazing. See, like I broke way before the cone and still smack. We gotta break way before it says, man. We really do. As we are now in the podium positions though, so. Should be fine. And first is a good bit ahead. There is eight seconds or so ahead. We got three laps, three full laps pretty much to catch him. I don't think it'll be a problem. They were gaining on him. You can see him starting to sweat. He knows we're coming from him. No, that, that wouldn't have made sense. I said he knows we're coming from him. No, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say we know. No, now I can't say it this way. <laughs> he knows we're coming from. No, I actually can't say the sentence. What is wrong with me? He knows we're coming for him is what I'm trying to say. He knows we're coming for him. 
Jesus, it's really not a hard sentence to form together. <laughs> what is wrong with me? He's always known. This is a nice car there, a nice paint job on that car. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to stop me. Yeah, there's no way I'm not getting a car handicap for this. Well, the opposite of a car handicap, like, I'm getting less money for this, for sure. Like, definitely, and that's because, like, everyone else... The way I know that is everyone else is driving Subarus. Subarus, and I'm driving a Porsche. So, if there was other people driving a Porsche as well, then you would not be getting that penalty. But the fact that there isn't... Uh, that's how you know. That's how you know. Much better that time. Still not perfect, but... Can go slamming into the wall, at least. By the way, guys, I do appreciate all the support on these videos, the Gran Turismo videos. If you could take a few seconds out of your day to just drop a like on the video, that means a lot. Uh, the last part didn't get as many likes as I was hoping for, so if we could get this one up to like 35, 40 likes, that would be much, much appreciated, as we now have quite a solid lead. Whoa, <laughs> this guy's driving the goddamn minivan. Are you kidding me, dude? Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? What an idiot. I didn't even notice anyone in a minivan. That's funny. I was like, wait, I thought we were in first. We've actually lapped the person in the minivan. <laughs> That's how slow they are. Look, we're not even close to lapping anyone else. We're literally about a full minute behind everyone else, but that guy's just so terrible. And he's driving a goddamn minivan. I think max speed is probably like 50 miles an hour. Sound off this is just beastly. Man. Oh yeah. Perfect. They must have updated the graphics for this game because it just does look so much better than on launch. I'm pretty sure of it. A couple people said that in the comments as well. I have to agree with them. Oh wow, we're behind our fastest lap. Incredible. That was not good. Last lap, I can already sense it, baby. We're gonna have a beastly last lap. That was perfect. It was much better on that turn, now. Alright, last lap, what can we do? Is that better than our overall lap? Yeah, that's our best lap so far. Alright, let's beat that. Let's beat that. Not a good start, sir. Not a good start at all. So these are all going to be pretty long races, though. But they're all going to be upwards of nine minutes, probably. They're all going to be around that nine, ten minute mark. It's like half an hour's worth of racing in this one part. 30 minutes worth of racing. He's nice. Alright, good stuff. We're beating our best lap so far. If we can keep that up, we'll be laughing. Guarantee we get like half the money as well for doing it in the Porsche. Which is gonna suck. Undoubtedly. Guess we gotta use that Subaru, huh? If we want the full money. If we want the full monies, we got to use the Subaru. I don't even get why they give you the option to go in a better car if they're just gonna dock you for doing so. Like, how are you supposed to know that they're gonna dock you for using a car? A certain type of car. Like, they don't tell you. 
they're going to give you less money. So I think that's kind of a dumb move on their part, but it's not a huge deal, I guess. have to beat the final time here. We need one last good turn out of this one here. This one's tough, but we can do it. I'll tell you what, that turn is difficult, man. <laughs> Alright, we should beat the time, though. 216 is the best lap. Yeah, we're gonna beat it. Woo! 214.8. See what... Let's see what kind of money we get. Are they going to absolutely rob me here, or are they going to be somewhat fair? So yeah, every race is going to... Oh no, we got the full money! 50 grand. Hell yes. I really didn't think we were going to. Now we're level 20. Did we unlock the amateur? Because we... No, I guess not. Huh. Well, we'd unlock the amateur there once we got to level 20. Or not the amateur, the professional. Alright, so this is even longer than that one, so this is going to be like a 10 minute race, and then that one's kind of a little bit shorter, but still pretty long. God damn it, man, these are long races. We need a concentration up. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. See you later, lad. Look at the speed of us compared to that lad. Holy shit. It's incredible. See you later, lad. Thanks for coming. It's incredible the speed we have. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't good. Oh my god, that guy came speeding in there. I wasn't even expecting to see him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, that was a terrible crash. Probably the worst crash I've had since the series began. We went straight into that. But you know what? We can still win this. We got loads of time to make it up. The speed I'm going at right now is way too ridiculous. Like, this car is too fast. It's genuinely too fast for comfort. Like, it just... It beggars belief. The cones, like, don't affect you at all. And I'm taking horrible lines here. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Sorry, lad. Accidental, pal. We're into the top five somehow, even though we're racing trash. And lap one is down and out. We're already nearly up with the with the podium, boys. Luckily, we didn't spin out there. And this is where I catch you. Bit too easy, lads. Come on, you should make it a little bit difficult for me, at least. Wait, we're only on to lap two now. Why did I think we were on lap two before? I don't know why I thought that. Two thirty-four was the lap. What the hell just happened there? Holy shit! Don't know, lads. I just don't know. <laughs> That's one of those ones where. Even tapping them a little bit does not work out for you. Sometimes it works out for you. Other times it doesn't. 
We're still gonna win. I mean, come on. It's a little bit too easy, this. See you later, Subaru boy. This car is just a beast. Don't know what else I can see, really. I wish they were using these kind of cars as well. Like, I wish they'd have, like, a couple of guys that at least that were using a Porsche as well. It's kind of dumb that they don't. It makes no sense, really. That was insanely good. Yeah, it really makes no sense that they don't, but... Whatever. This guy's giving us a run for our money, at least. Not for long, though, because... See you later, a lot. Good luck. Have fun. Bye-bye. We're about to lap the goddamn Volkswagen. Our goddamn... Oh, I love this. <laughs> I don't know why this poor guy even tries in this thing. Bye-bye, sir. Thanks for coming. I appreciate that guy. He's funny. A little bit of laughter to be had there with that fella. As you can see him in our rearview mirror. About to be lapped by everyone else. <laughs> Poor guy. Possibly the most skill I've ever seen there. Like, I don't know how we did not spin out throughout uh, all of that. <laughs> I was just trying for the banter to go through that without breaking. Beat our best lap by six seconds there, so let's see if we can beat it again on the last lap here. That'd be pretty incredible if we could. That would be pretty dank, I must say. Okay. Let's see where we're at after the first sector. Oh, we're beating it. We're beating it. Hell yeah, boys. Accelerated to that corner. Oh shit! Just about got away with that. Come on, we could beat that final time. Oh, that was sensational. Just beautiful. This could not be going any better right now, lads right here. That's where I fecked it up, but it wasn't too bad, actually. I think we're beating our best time still. We really do. Let's see what it is. Are we beating it? Oh, we are by 1.5 seconds. This is the lap of our life right here, guys. Oh, we fucked it up there. We truly fucked it up there. Wow. Lap of my lifetime that was until that. God damn it. I really fucked it up this time. Didn't I, my dear? I think I was just going way too fast at that point because I broke before even the cones, but... It was not enough, and now we do not beat the time, unfortunately. Jesus, we still nearly beat it with that crash as well. That's how good that lap was. It really was a sensational lap. Right up until the end. Alright. 10.03 was the time. We still get the 50k. And we get our daily workout done. Might use the Subaru for the last one. Just to make it a little bit more competitive. Two goals though. Nürburgring. Yeah, let's use the Subaru for this one. Make it a little bit more competitive. All right, here we go. Last race in the Subaru. Oh, wow, I was pressing the handbrake by accident there. My bad. Oh, we're on Nürburgring as well. Come on. Be 
a lot harder in the Subaru, baby, but I think we can still do it. There's absolutely no way the car is turning that much. Like, what the hell? Yeah, we're 20 seconds behind already, guys. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a lot harder. I should have used the Porsche for this one, too, huh? Alright, we can still do it. Relax. Relax. Bad start means nothing. They are miles ahead. It's crazy the difference between the Subaru and the Porsche, though. Like, I think I would honestly be already in the podium positions in the Porsche. <laughs> and the Subaru is just so much slower in comparison. We'd at least be in the top five. Like, it's mental. The power difference is crazy. For a car like that, no wonder I was winning by so much. Like, it's crazy. Break at the cones, and it's the right point to break. And the horse, you break at the cones, you're gone. You have to break way before them. But it all depends on the power of the car, you know? I took a little bit of a cheaty shortcut there, but it actually worked out. You can do that sometimes in this because you don't get the penalties, because we ain't online. And that got us into the top five, but we're still 15 seconds behind first place here, guys. And it doesn't look like we're closing the gap down in a manner that's going to get us up into the top three very soon at all. Christ, man. This is embarrassing. I should have used the Porsche. I, sh I just should have used the Porsche. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I'd, it'd be much more of a challenge in the Subaru, and it is, but just a little bit too much of a challenge here in the Subaru. Yeah, we're only gaining one second per goddamn sector. It's not going to be good enough to get us up there, really. starting to get a little bit aggressive here and it seems to be working for us so far uh, I'm getting a little bit more aggressive with the lines at the corner because there is no penalties it does seem to be working a little bit for us so far but we have to wait and see we don't want to make up a stupid crash here and have it all go out the window right, we're nearly in the podium places we're 10 seconds behind the guy in first now Close, close to being guaranteed at least a bronze medal. But we're aiming higher than that. We want that gold, baby. See, that's all we want. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're in the podium places. I still believe we can do this. We're five seconds ahead of our best lap already. Jesus Christ. See, that's just so much faster than going the full way around the corner. I know it's cheap. And I know it's cheating. But, you know what? It ain't cheating in the GT League, so what's the problem? We're now within five seconds of the Finnish boy and the, the Japanese. It's time to catch him. That was a good lap, by the way. Oh, they're about to lap the goddamn Volkswagen now. <laughs> Took to the third lap this time, but still happening. You 
better not slow me down somehow, the little scumbag. Damn it. <laughs> I knew I was gonna hit him there. Alright, we still got another full lap after this one, so we got time. We got time to get these guys, and we're already beating the last lap. I'm surprised by that, because we had a great lap on that last one. Here we go. We're coming for him. We're coming for him. If we catch this Japanese guy, we're going to win it, I think. Well, I said that the last time, and I ended up catching the guy in second. I didn't catch the guy in first. This time, it will be different. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. I just need that one po I think it's going to be that part there. Oh, we're still beating it. We're still beating it. I think it's going to be that part where I'm cutting the corner. I think that's going to be the part that is where we overtake him. Maybe here. Nope. Oh, he knows it's happening now. Come on, come on. It's definitely going to be this part here, isn't it? Sorry, lads, but had to be done. That's how you take the lead. <laughs> oh, I hate myself for doing that, but I don't... I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry about it. We're in the lead for the last lap now. Let's go, baby. Woohoo! And our best lap. That was beautiful. This has been an intense race. I'm glad I used the Subaru now. I was thinking at the start we were never going to catch him, but... With a little bit of cheating, anything is possible. Jesus Christ, I stopped the car fully there. I'm giving them a chance to get back into this. Relax. Be careful because even one crash could still have us finishing in third here. And our lap is not as good this time. Oh fuck. Okay, we got away with that. We're messing it up a little bit though. We're not having a good lap here. We're trying to bottle it. This does not slip now! We got this. We got this, guys. No big deal, right? Let's have a solid finish. I'm going cockpit so I can actually see these guys in my rear view mirror. On the right side, I have the car. Oh, we can see them alright, but they're way behind, lads. It's over for them. Woo! Alright, let's do it. See? You can see my wheel marks going over this exact same spot <laughs> loads of times. Works every time, guys. Good new shortcut for you. That's a win. That's a goddamn W, friends. This this uh, view is so weird. But we've done it three goals in this part. That was beautiful. We done two of them in the Porsche, and then switched over to the Subaru, and we got the heart. Oh my god, we got seventy grand for that because of the car handicap. Holy shit. That's a lot of money for one race, people. That's a lot of money for one race, and we're going to be doing, I think, the last event of the 
amateur cup here in the next part which is the Mazda Roadster Cup. We still have... Oh, we have unlocked the Professional League now. Okay, so there's only two in the Professional League. Oh, wow. The Midship Challenge and the Premium Sports Lounge. Okay. Wow. Oh, we have a couple. Oh, we can use the Bugatti and shit? The GT? Oh, the Ferrari. We can use pretty much any car we... Any supercar we want in this one. And then let's see this Premium Sports Lounge. Which cars do we have for this? I think we have the Mercedes, we have the Aston Martin, and the Bugatti again. Oh my god, man. We can use the Merc, we can use that Merc. Mercedes, and we can use the Porsche. Okay, so in the professional league, man, shit, serious. I wonder how long these races are. Eight laps of 2.46 miles, holy shit. Eight laps of 3.37 miles. Wow, eight laps of... Okay, so everything is eight laps, and it's for 80 grand. No wonder... No freaking wonder. Maybe we should just go straight on to this in the next part instead of doing the Mazda Cup. What do you reckon? Should we do the second Mazda Roadsters Cup? The Mazda Roadsters Cup Plus? Or should we move straight on to the Professional League? You guys let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys for more GT Sport very soon. Peace out.